Ryan wasn't really one to do the typical dates like movie or dinner. Instead, he took her snowmobiling. <laughs> they had a great time, and after a while, Ryan let Nicole drive. <laughs> we heard a little bit about this before. <laughs> she impressed him right away with her driving skills as she immediately crashed the snowmobile into the only ditch for miles in any direction. <laughs> He knew right then and there that this was a very special girl. <laughs> friends, so I thought he was a cutie, and so I slid into his DMs on Facebook. Basically, she messaged me, and she was just like, hey, I, met, I saw you at that party last night. My name's Nicole, and I was just I said, hey, let's go snowmobiling. I like how I literally she just you first. Yeah, <laughs> and I just texted her. I'm like, I'm going snowmobiling. You want to go? And then that was that. Um, they also enjoy being outside. <laughs> things like hiking. Um, Ryan has even done things very romantically, like making Nicole dinner on a hike. She called it caveman style. I literally loaded a cast of skillet. That's my part of the story. <laughs> I have it written right here. He's so romantic, he carried a cast iron skillet in his bag. By the time we had grown up together and just learned each other and, and just how to compliment each other in different ways, I was just that we kind of decided, you know, let's, let's tie the knot and make this happen. I think it was, it wasn't like any one moment, it was just how he's treated me and been by my side for the past eight years. It's amazing. He's always been there. So he's never, never faltered, so he's pretty special. So I, I wanted to say a few words to, to both of you. So first and foremost, the way you two take care of each other, love each other, support each other, compliment each other, I can confidently say that I, I know what true love now looks like. They say opposites attract, and I think there's truth to that, because they are indeed opposites in a number of ways, but it does create a healthy balance to the relationship. Ryan is as calm and collected a guy as I've ever known. He reminds us all to not sweat the little things and to focus on the things in life that matter the most. I think you have made a wise, wise choice. I agree. <laughs> He's okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a good fall, but I've learned to embrace it, and he lightens me up, which is 
been amazing because I feel like I've chilled out a lot because of him and I, I owe that all to him. Oh my. <laughs> Wait, thank <laughs> I said I love you first. It was at her grandparents' house in Manda, North Dakota. And she got kind of mad because I said, I think I love you. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> You're so gorgeous. the presence of God, our family and friends. I vow to be your faithful and loving partner in sickness and health. And although I'm unsure about some things in this life, I'm certain that I love you and I will continue to love you without condition forever. Ryan and Nicole, having proclaimed love and a commitment to one another in the sight of these witnesses and myself, I am so happy to pronounce you by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church and the state of Colorado, husband and wife, you may kiss the bride. My vows to you are not only a promise, but also a privilege. I am blessed to be able to laugh with you, cry with you, explore with you, learn with you, and best of all, I get to continue falling more and more in love with you every day. I love you. you to know that some people say marriage is hard and that there's a 50 50 split and sometimes it's 60 40 it's truly not hard and I want to remind them that because this day will remind you of why you've done that and if you keep that in your hearts it's never a hard thing to be married it's always a blessing to be married